Hay mucho bien. This is my nephew. Dije, vamos a hacer una revista. So I said, let's, let's, let's make a magazine. Hice un equipo para. And I did a team to do it. Y bueno, yo hice esa revista, hice como siete, siete números. So I did about seven editions. El último número que hice, número siete. The last number that I did, number seven. Estaba dedicado a las mujeres. Was dedicated to women. Y ahí terminé yo. And there I stopped. Han seguido otros editores. Um, other uh, editions have, have continued. El número nueve, el número once. Number nine, eleven. Y lo interesante es, yo les decía, que lo interesante, o sea, um, the interesting thing about this es poner las fotos is to put the pictures ¿Quiénes son los rappers? Who are the rappers? Ah, son personas en su mayoría uh, negros. Um, the majority of them are um, physically uh, black. La gente debe ver esas figuras. People should see these things. figures in a magazine. Hay que hacer buenas fotos. Um, you have to do good pictures. Hay que hacer fotos preciosas de quiénes son. You have to do beautiful uh, pictures of, of who they are. Hay que poner las letras de las canciones. You have to put the lyrics of the songs. Hay que entrevistar a la gente nuestra. You have to interview our people. Eh, hay que entrevistar a las mujeres. You have to interview women. A los productores. To translators. Los contactos que tenemos. Contacts that we have. Como como el discurso del hip hop es un discurso transnacional. How the, the hip hop discourse is a transnational discourse. Que habla sobre una opresión que es la misma. So that talks about an oppression that's the same in every area. La discriminación racial es lo mismo en Chicago, um, en Sao Paulo, que en la. Racial discrimination is the same as Chicago, Sao Paulo. Tenemos que hablar de esos hermanos que nuestros padres. We have to talk about um, these brothers and sisters of ours. El hip hop africano. That hip hop is African hip hop. Ha sido muy importante el hip hop en Senegal. Has been hip hop has been very important in Senegal. En Zambia, en Ghana. En Zambia, en Ghana. En Angola. En Angola. Eh, los los raperos argelinos del país. Um, the uh, argelinos. De Argelia. Oh, okay. de Argelia in Paris. Es un es un movimiento crítico. Es un crítico movimiento. Anticapitalista. Anticapitalista. <coughs> emancipatorio. Emancipatorio. Y en Cuba también lo debe ser. Y en Cuba también lo debe ser. En Cuba conocemos, conocimos un proyecto. En um, Cuba, um, we knew a, a, a project. Que se llamó Agosto Negro. That was called Black August. Son un grupo de muchachos que se mueven en ciudades como Chicago, Nueva York. A group of boys that moves in 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 cities like Chicago, New York, Atlanta. Haciendo trabajo social. I'm doing social work. Trabajando en las cárceles. Ah, working in the jails. En los barrios pobres. In the poor neighborhoods. A través del hip hop. Um, by way of hip hop. Y tuvimos eso, esos hermanos aquí. And we had um these these brothers here. Trajeron algo que no tienen los negros. Um, we um. They brought something that um, que nos, que no que the blacks, us blacks don't Tecnología. have technology. Many discs. Formas de forms of producing e ideas um, and emancipatory ideas to be able to exchange. Con share. Todo eso, With all of this, los raperos se convirtieron, um, rappers became, además de las clases de historia social del negro y demás. Um, more than just you know the, the social history class, Tomasito in the National Library. En las cabezas de más conciencia negra en Cuba. Um, en in the they became in the minds of the Black Cuban consciousness in that moment. Y figuras muy activas dentro de la sociedad. And very active figures within uh, Cuban society. A pesar de tener una agencia. Um, although that there's an agency. Apenas lo llevaban a la televisión. Um, they still would not bring it to television. Yo tenía un programita de radio entonces. I had a program on the radio. <coughs> y lo, lo llevaba a, lo, a esos programas. And I and I brought it to these uh, radio programs. Y una persona que tenía un programa en la televisión. And one person who had a program on the TV. Hizo algunos programas. Did a couple of programs. Uh, I, did a, I did a couple of programs with her. Ellos mismos se organizaron. Um, they themselves organized. Hicieron un congreso de hip hop cada and año. They did a hip hop congress every year. Traían productores, historiadores. Um, you know, producer, pro producers came out, historians came out. Y es en esos espacios que llega la academia um, and those a compartir el tema de los rappers. La academia arrives to share the theme with the rappers. Pero los raperos fueron la cabeza. 
La maquinaria que agrua todo esto. The rappers were the heads, the, the machinery that you know brings this all about. Pero siempre hay un siempre hay problema. Uh, but there's always a problem. Oh, so to tell you guys, yes. yeah, yeah, that there was a group of our friends that started in un rap. Grupo muy bueno, uh, yeah. They started in a really good group. Um, so they were in the, war, the university where and I worked. Group of obsession. Um, it was a group called Obsesión. And they were going to close the event. Nuestro, this event, our event. Okay. They were programmed to. Pero hay un evento internacional de poesía. But there's an international poetry event. Y tienen que actuar en el evento coincidiendo con el final del the, trabajo de, de. They have to act in the event, and it coincides with, um, you know. Ese, no hubo posibilidades de tenerlos aquí para ustedes. So there was no possibility of having. Porque nosotros somos un grupo menos de 20. Uh, because we're a group of less than 20. Y la presentación de ellos va a ser de cientos de personas. It was, um, de cuántas personas? De cientos. Of hundreds of people at the other. Entonces si hubiera sido demasiado egoísta. So it would have been too egoistic. De mi parte, decirlo que vinieran aquí y dejaran aquí. That you know they had to come here and. Pero que para que ustedes sepan de que íbamos a terminar con eh, este grupo de hip hop. But just to let you guys know, we were going to finish with this hip hop group. Un grupo muy um, a really cool group. La, una de las últimas canciones que hicieron. One of the last songs that they wrote. Es una canción dedicada a un a un monumento que está al final de esta avenida. Uh, hey. Is a is a um, song that's dedicated to a monument that's at the end of uh, G Street. Ese monumento está dedicado a un presidente de la República Cubana de 1900. Yeah, um, this monument is dedicated to a president of the Republic, um, Jose, Miguel, Jose Miguel Gomez, um, at the end of the 19th uh, century. And that president was the one who sent, um, the, who called for the massacre in 1912 to the members of the Independent Party of Color in Santiago de Cuba. Entonces el monumento estaba destruido, se había caído en la figura del presidente. Como muchos monumentos cuando triunfa la revolución, they take off the figures. Aquí al lado del hotel presidente. For example, um, here, right here, by uh, the side of the hotel presidente. Ustedes pueden ver un lugar donde hay nada más que un par de zapatos. You guys can see a place where there's nothing left but a pair of shoes. Ese es un presidente norteamericano. Es un Roosevelt o Roosevelt. That was an American president. Aquí están los zapatos. And all that's left is the shoes. Y nadie lo volvió a poner. And nobody, you know, put him back, put the body back again. Pero este presidente lo han vuelto a poner. Um, but this other president they have, you know, put back again. Y el historiador de la ciudad. And the historian of the city. Ha gastado mucho dinero. Cientos de miles de dólares. Hundreds of thousands of dollars they spent. En restaurar ese monumento de mármol. Restoring this monument. Es un monumento inmenso, el tamaño de la Casa de las Américas. Un monumento de la Casa de las Américas. Y el grupo Obsesión hizo una canción. And the group Obsession of hip hop artists made a song. Diciendo que hay que tumbar ese monumento. Um, saying that we have to combat this monument. Tumbar, tumbar, tumbar. Oh, oh, throw down this monument. Y los historiadores. And the historians don't want to. They say no. This has been our history. No, this is our history. Pero ellos dicen, pongan una tarja entonces que diga ese fue el asesino. They say you should put like you know a plaque saying this was the site where of the assassination. Y luego la canción. And then the song. El coro dice tumba. The the chorus says knock it down. Entonces es esa canción es muy interesante. So this song is really interesting. Porque ha suscitado también una discusión que va más allá del campo musical. Because it has um, brought up a, a discussion that goes, um, that transcends just the musical realm. Y pone en discusión también. Um, and it places in discussion. Un evento de la historia cubana que no está en los libros de historia. An event of Cuban history that's <coughs> not in the history books. En ese disco hay otros. Eh, 
Y no se den cuenta otras canciones muy importantes. En este uh, CD, there's also very important um, uh, songs as hay, well. Hay una canción sobre la televisión, la presencia del negro en la televisión. There's a song about the television, the, pre the presence of the blacks in television. Hay otra canción sobre el pelo. There's another song about hair. Que es tan, eh, tan fuerte en la identidad como. That is um, so strong in black identity. Una canción que dice, arriba los pelos, que crezcan los pelos. So it says, you know, the song says, um, up with the hair, um, that, you know, the kings grow. No, no, dreads. No, grow. Es una canción sobre la identidad. It's a song about identity. En ese disco también hay una canción, un poema de magia. There's also um, a poem by Magia, the girl uh, of the group. Que se llama Eres Bella. That's called You're Beautiful. Que es una canción preciosa. Which is a beautiful song. Sobre la belleza negra. About black beauty. La belleza de la mujer negra. The, the beauty of black women. Este es un grupo de, de artistas muy simpáticos. This is a group of really, really great artists. No son como esos raperos que a veces se ponen muy bravos en la foto. They're not like those type of rappers that, you know, um, portray themselves as really mad and angry in the pictures. Like, no, yo no estoy muy relajado siempre. You know, they're really relaxed all the time. Y la verdad, nos hubiéramos estado divirtiendo mucho. And we would have really liked, you know, them to come and have fun. Hay otra canción donde ellos han invitado a un grupo de rumba cubana. Um, there's another song where they invited a group of um, uh, musicians of rumba. Porque la manera de asumir el rap cubano. Um, because the, the, the way of, of assuming the rap. Right, uh, the rap. The Cuban rap. No, no, pero eh, es el asumir. Pues la manera de incorporar oh, el rap cubano, elementos cubanos. The, the way of incorporating um, Cuban elements in the rap. Es poner alguna sonoridad afrocubana. Is to put um, a, an Afro-Cuban musicality. Que identifica mucho muy bien que se trata de hip hop hecho en Cuba. That is very well identified and that can be identified as hip hop that's specifically made in Cuba. Y en ese disco, en, su, en el último tema del disco, he invitado a un grupo de rumba muy famoso en Cuba. So the last um, track on the disc, they've invited a very famous um, rumba in Cuba. Se llama Yoruba Andavo. It's called Yoruba Andavo. Y la canción cuenta la historia. So the song um, tells the history. De una joven negra muy educada. And the story of a, of, a, of a young black, very well educated girl. Que solo le gusta el ballet. That only likes ballet. Entonces un muchacho la invita a la rumba. So this guy invites her to a rumba. Y dice, no, esa cosa es negra, yo no voy. And she's like, oh no, 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 that's a black thing. I'm not going because who imagined? No tengo el tiempo porque tengo que plancharme. Also, I don't have the time because I have to iron my hair. Entonces es muy interesante porque esa muchacha al final de la canción termina bailando rumba. So it's really interesting because at the end of the song this girl um, ends by dancing rumba. Eh, es un disco muy divertido. It's a really fun uh, CD. Muy consciente. Very conscious. Y es un disco donde <laughs> los raperos cubanos también entran en un intercambio con otros músicos cubanos. And it's a, it's a CD in which um, the Cuban rappers also enter into um, an interchange and dialogue with other Cuban musicians. Con músicos de la... Con de la música afrocubana, pero también con jazzistas. Um, with Afro-Cuban music, but also with um, jazz musicians. Con, musica, con la música campesina. With um, music of the, of the um, country. Un disco muy inteligente. Um, it's, it's a very intelligent disc. Que fue hace un año, sí, do, hace dos años, el mejor disco de Cuba. That in, el, um, el gran premio del festival del disco de Cuba. They gave it um, the award of being the best CD in Cuba. Um, in the um, festival of the, of the Cuban CD. It's a um, CD that was recorded at home. It's a really, really wonderful uh, CD. Yo creo que lo otro que está pasando en Cuba. I es think that the other thing that's happening in Cuba. Cada vez hay más organizaciones is that um, you know each time there becomes more and more black organizations. Por ejemplo, ayer en el de Miami, um, yesterday, for example, in the airport when I was getting back from Miami, I met with the leaders of the Islamic Association in Cuba. Eh, que venía de mm -hmm. That came sí, que venía de Suiza. Uh, that came from um, Switzerland. Y es muy interesante. 
cómo hay una diversidad muy amplia. So it's, it's really interesting how in a, um, in such a, uh, a wide um, universe. Hay organizaciones de mujeres. There's um, organizations of women. Hay organizaciones de musulmanes. There's organizations of Muslims. Los Rastafari. Of Rastafaris. La cofradía de la of the um, cofradía um, of, of blackness, el de integración racial, the uh, committee of racial integration. Eh, hay organizaciones de derecha. There's um, organizations of law, de izquierda, a uh, leftist organizations. Hay eh, sitios digitales, a uh, digital sites. Hay blogueros que se ocupan um, de eso. Blog que blogueros, 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 blogueros. Oh, bloggers. Uh -huh. Eh, hay un bloguero que se llama Alberto Abreu. So there's a blogger named um, Roberto Abreu. Su blog se llama Afromodernidades. His, his blog is called Afromodernities. Hay un blog que se llama Negra Cubana tenía que ser. Um, there's a blog called um, It Had to Be a Black Woman. Es de una amiga que se llama Sandra Álvarez. Um, it's, it's by a friend whose name is Sandra Álvarez. Un blog para cubanas negras y lesbianas. There's a blog for black Cuban lesbian women. Y hay otros espacios. And other spaces. Para mostrar esa diversidad. To show this type of diversity. Finalmente lo que quiero decir. Um, finally what I want to say. Es que hay la esfera pública negra. Is that there's a, a back a black public sphere. Emergiendo. That's emerging y que estamos en presencia de algunos eh, debates interesantes And so we're in the presence of some really important, interesting debates. y que también la academia se está dando cuenta de esto And also academia is, um, started to notice this. Y, y por ejemplo en esta última revista so for example, in this last en la revista de la Universidad de La Habana, this journal of the University of Havana ha publicado muchos artículos it's published a lot of, uh, articles. negros con clases Blacks with class, racismo y publicidad, um, flat racism, y también me, me publicó este texto mío, Cuba, 12 dificultades. And they also published this um, work of mine, um, Cuba, uh, 12 difficulties for uh, confronting the neo racism, or 12 reasons for opening the other debate. Este, este es un ensayo. So this is an essay. Lleno de propuestas. Um, filled with proposals. Y también diciendo quiénes son los racistas. And also saying who is, who are the racists in Cuba. Y por qué necesitamos una organización propia. And why we need organizations of our own. Y qué es lo que yo creo que son las instituciones blancas. And um, this is what I think are the, the white institutions. Yo llamo instituciones blancas. I call them white institutions. A los lugares donde yo trabajaba en los últimos 20 años. To the places that I've worked in the last 20 years. Donde los ejecutivos son una mayoría blanca. When the, where the executives are um, majority white. Donde las propuestas de carácter eh, afro, eh, donde, donde el, el programa cultural generalmente tiene un fundamento eurocéntrico. Um, where the cultural programming fundamentally has is eurocentric. Y se encuentran presentes muy pocos ejecutivos negros. And so um, you find very few black executives. Esa es una definición rápida. This is not. This is a, just a quick um, diffusion. Pero aquí se encuentran también definiciones como qué es una comunidad negra. So here you also find the definition of what is a black community. Donde viven negros blancos. Where um, you know blacks live. Donde la gente vive como negros. Una But frase cubana. Vivir como negros. Live like blacks is a Cuban phrase. Hay otras explicaciones. Other un, 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 un artículo que, yo, que para mucha gente fue muy fuerte. This was an article that for many people was very uh, strong. Y estaban en contra de él. Um, and they were against it. Y me dieron aquí a decirme lo mismo. And they came over here to tell to tell that to me. Y no tiene nada que ver con el pequeño articulito que yo publiqué en New York Times. And it has nothing to do with the little article that I published in the New York Times. Pero después que publiqué en New York Times, me han dicho que este artículo es maravilloso. But um, that was just published in the New York Times. Those of the New York Times have told me that this article is marvelous. Me han dicho que es inteligente, que todo se entiende. They told me, wow, how intelligent. Aquí no. Aquel no. Aquel es muy peligroso. Okay. Y este no. Right. Hay otra razón. Yo voy a preparar un artículo. Un, estamos preparando un dossier. So we're preparing a, a dossier Para el otoño, en esta for autumn in this uh, a journal, Afro-Hispanic Review, 
sobre eh, toda esta discusión sobre el artículo de New York Times. About, um, about that whole discussion in the New York Times article. Así que esto es lo que tenía que decir con la respuesta que ahorita lo dio publicada. Sí, 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 puedo pedir algo. Es una revista de la Universidad de Barcelona. Es el Journal of the University of Havana. Y están for sale. ¿Cuál es la idea? No, no, no. 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 And um, be part of this um, super excellent um, grouping of, from all of us trying just to give you an overall. I, I can't remember any other time that we managed just to get all, almost the round group of people who were able to express what we were aimed to do. And um, at some point, when I was preparing this, I have to ask them, them if they will commit it themselves to be with us. Four of us, four of them, just returned one after another in the week, in the very same week that we were. As uh, Gloria Fernando said the day before, she had a jet lag, she was coming from Toronto. Uh, Suleika, the president of the Institute of um, Publishing House, was coming from Chicago. Uh, he was coming from up north Missouri, down to Miami yesterday. And uh, he texted me, here I am, he said. <laughs> and uh, who was the other one? Because uh, Andiaro was in Germany. So, uh, we have a blessing. The only thing missing was the rap group, which they are amazing. And they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't because there were people from so many other countries that came to the uh, International Poetry Festival. They said, Pedro, I'm sorry, because they were with us four years ago um, when I led the group of the Mayor of Havana, my novel here, uh, but Subana wasn't in the group. So I tried just to regroup something different, dealing with the different interests of all of us. So we have time, whatever you want to until at least another hour to Q&A and try just to make not necessarily statements because you will be able to do the statements this evening with him on a personal uh, level but at least just to ask questions, some gap that you have on it. This is the man. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, one. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Well, what do you think is responsible for this lack of organization over the years, or even the sustainability of these organizations over the years? And do you think this emerging social media, blogging and so on, and fill that gap with creating another space for the conversations and organizing that's necessary? <coughs> O sea, ¿qué se debe eh, la falta de organización eh, entre la gente negra a lo largo de los años? Y también si, si tú crees que ahora con eh, nuevos medios de comunicación, por ejemplo, eh, en cuanto al mundo de, de, de las redes sociales, si esto va a llenar eh, un espacio de organización o agregar algo al proceso. La falta de organización se debe... So the lack of organization might be attributed to talking about racial discrimination mm -hmm. um, make, converse, makes one into an enemy of the revolution. So it's a taboo. So it was said that to talk about um, race to the people was um, dividing the the um, community uh, against uh, the, the, the imperialist fight. 
Um, and so um, it was said that in Cuba, you know, you don't talk about this, and you didn't talk about en toda la historia de Cuba, it. In all of Cuban history, eso siempre ha sido un debate vivo. this has always been a very living debate. Hasta 1960. Until 1960. <coughs> en un, en un discurso de Fidel. Um, in a discourse that Fidel had. Fidel hizo tres discursos. So he did three um, speeches or discourses tema talking about the racial theme. Y Fidel lo, en 1959 dijo que and in 1950 he said that the battle against racial discrimination era la cuarta batalla. was the fourth battle. Iba a ser la más difícil. And it was going to be the most difficult. Decía la educación. So that's to say the education, el trabajo, la salud, work, health, y la discriminación. and discrimination. Eso fue el 22 de marzo de 1959. El primer discurso. El segundo fue en abril de 1960. Pero muchas personas que rodeaban a Fidel. Pero muchas personas que rodeaban a Fidel. Pero muchas personas que Um, so we made a revolution just for blacks. And so Fidel went looking for a consensus. Like a like a principle a principle. The unity of the of the uh, village, the pueblo. Many people thought that to talk about racism is divided. So um, in this uh, world of the, the, the spaces, the internet, es muy interesante cómo se está visibilizando. Um, it's very interesting how um, it go, they, they, they go visibilizing algunas figuras, algunas polémicas, some algunas figures, some polemics, some organizations, pero no es suficiente. But it's not sufficient. Yo creo que lo más importante I think that the most important thing es la organización is the organization de la sociedad civil. Of the civil society. Es el debate nacional sobre ese tema. Is the national debate about this thing. Tiene que haber un debate en los medios. Um, it, there has to be a debate in <coughs> the media. Eso tiene que estar en la agenda de todas las organizaciones so, humanas. This has to be in the agenda of all of Cuban organizations. No solo en las organizaciones negras. Not only in the black organizations. Porque esa discusión atraviesa todos los temas. But this, but this discussion uh, transcends all of the themes. El tema de la mujer, the el theme tema de la women, pobreza. The theme of poverty. El tema de la diáspora. The theme of the diaspora. Entonces, yo creo que eso hay que discutirlo donde se discute so, todo. This has to be discussed where everything uh, is, is el mundo digital puede ayudar. The digital world can help. Pero yo tengo más fe en la, en la sociedad civil. But I have more faith in the civil society. En las instituciones cubanas. In Cuban institutions. Por eso yo trabajo en esta institución. Uh, because I, for this reason, I, I, I work in these institutions. Y cuando alguien me dijo que renunciara, and, yo dije que no. And when, you know, somebody told me that I should um, uh, resign, I said no. Porque esta es una institución de la revolución. Because this is an institution of the revolution. No es una institución de los racistas. It's not an institution of racists. Y cuando un racista quiere ejercer su racismo. Um, and when a racist wants to exercise their racism. Hay que denunciarlo y hay que fajarlo. You, you have to um, denounce it and you have to fight. Y apelar a esas instituciones. And appeal to those institutions. A esos espacios digitales. And those um, digital spaces. Pero lo más importante es la conciencia. But the most important thing is the consciousness. De que luchar contra la discriminación racial. That um, fighting against racial discrimination. Es luchar contra la colonialidad. And is fighting is fighting against coloniality. Que oprime también a la revolución cubana. That also oppresses the Cuban revolution. Si la revolución cubana no es una revolución antirracista. Um, if the Cuban revolution isn't an anti-racist revolution. Está perdida. It's lost. Puedo hacer yo una una pregunta. Un momentito. Es muy interesante, es muy interesante esta publicación de la Universidad de La Habana. This publication by the University of Havana. Muy, muy, muy oportuna. Yo no la conocía. I didn't no, even know no, about it. No, 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 no. La, el, los artículos the incluidos included en esta revista muy interesante. Journal are really interesting. Al principio, at, at the beginning, eh, Zurbano mencionó Zurbano aquellos tres factores, individuos, 
que tuvieron aquel periodo de relación que eran Betancourt y Carlos Mott da la casualidad que como yo les mencioné en mi presentación yo tengo una relación con los dos del medio porque al estar yo en La Habana cuando Carbonell regresa de su fallido trabajo como, eh, como diplomático en Túnez, en Túnez es cuando yo lo conozco que vengo de Santa Clara en los años 60 entonces prácticamente lo que estaba diciendo su hermano es la continuidad porque Walterio fue mi mentor que me prestó la mesa de su casa para comer porque en mi casa no había comida y su máquina de escribir cuando él lee mi poesía, When he read my poetry, me lleva a su casa o llama a su madre, que era de la burguesía negra de Guimaní. Me presta su máquina, me dice que me diera says, que me alimentara cuando yo saliera de la universidad. Ahí escribo el libro, que es premiado en Casa de las Américas. Premiado cuando yo tenía 22 años entonces esta continuidad prácticamente y, 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 y digo esto no porque había pensado decirlo sino por, para que ustedes vean por qué nosotros defendemos a este señor aquí en cualquier parte que nosotros estemos porque es como el, nuestro relevo Relevo. 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 Sí, eh, muchísimas gracias, ha sido fascinante, ¿no? Eh, quería saber si se vivía cierta tensión, por lo menos en los años 60 y 70, entre la lucha antirracista y el feminismo, ¿no? Porque al feminismo se le concedía un espacio circunscrito, ¿no? Pero cierto espacio. Eh, mientras que eh, los otros movimientos, eh, cualquier posibilidad abierta de, de emprender esa lucha antirracista es detenida, ¿no? Y es una tensión que creo que quizás surge en la película de Sara Gómez, de cierta manera, ¿verdad? Donde se, ven, se ve esa, um, eh, ese alegato contra el, contra el machismo, ¿no? Pero al, al mismo tiempo casi, casi se le echa la culpa a la cultura afrocubana, ¿no? O sea, aunque es un film dialéctico complicado, ¿no? Pero... ¿Quieres traducir la pregunta al inglés para la gente que no habla español? Ok, so, so the question is, um, is, is there a, a certain tension, in, at least at the early, in the early stage of the revolution, the 60s and the 70s, between um, anti-racist struggles and feminist struggles? Because the feminists were allowed a certain kind of space. It was very circumscribed, very limited, but they did have a space whereas um, the anti-racist struggle was really shut down, sort of officially. Um, so I'm wondering if there's a tension, and it also seems to me that maybe that tension is, is something that emerges in Sara Gómez's film, De Cierta Manera, which is this big sort of attack against machismo in Cuban society, but also it's a dialectical film, very complicated, but also seems to blame, at least in part, um, Afro-Cuban culture for some of that machismo. Well, so if blacks um, remain behind, um, behind the black men are the black women. Um, discriminated sometimes for, by their own black men. Discriminated by their own black men. Mm -hmm. eh, que eso está entre las 12 dificultades. 
como los hombres negros like how black men no pensamos en las mujeres don't think about women como las grandes estrategas que son like the 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 great las grandes estrategas estrategas sí de que lo dijiste estrategas strategists that they are administradores and administrators that they are que saben eso yo lo he visto en todas partes so I've seen this everywhere en los barrios negros más pobres in the poorest black neighborhoods donde los hombres preñan y se van Um, where uh, men impregnate women and then they just leave. In the palenque de San Basilio, in the favela de São Paulo. Um, in the palenque, the the slave, runaway slave community of San Basilio, in the favelas in uh, Brazil, the poor communities. Son las mujeres que organizan los proyectos de vida. It's the women that organize the the, the projects of life. Tienen una especial manera de negociar. And they have a very special uh, way of negotiating. El sentido de la negociación social. The sense of social negotiation. Cuando se organizan las mujeres. Um, when women are organized o están al frente de determinados proyectos. Or when they're in the uh, the heads of determined uh, certain projects. Es una verdadera elección. <laughs> There's a, a, a real um, election. Para todos los movimientos negros en América Latina. For all of the black movements in Latin America. En, en Colombia, en Ecuador. En Colombia, en Ecuador. En Brasil. En Brasil. En los movimientos negros. In the black movements. Los mejores líderes. The best leaders. Son las mujeres. Are the women. En Cuba también. In Cuba as well. Se ha organizado últimamente. Um, all, la red is the um, la red real afrodescendientes. Oh, the um, the neighborhood network of Afro descendants. De 20 líderes que son 16 mujeres. So 16 women. Lo conocen todo. They know everything. ¿Cuáles son las muchachas que están preñadas? Which are the girls that are pregnant? Los hombres que no trabajan. The men that don't work. Los basureros que hay en cada que se llaman microvertederos. Um, the the people that are um, picking up the trash. That are no, no, las acumulaciones. Oh, the accumulations of trash. Mm -hmm. No pasa el carro de la basura. And the and the trash truck doesn't come to pick them up. Eso. So people start to you know throw. Se convierte en un vertedero. And it just you know turns into this huge. Es un peligro para la salud. It's a health. Uh, Esas líderes lo saben. ¿Cuáles son las familias alcohólicas? They know the the alcoholic families. En un barrio de la periferia de la ciudad. Um, in a in a neighborhood on the periphery of the city. Hace un año. I, what, about a year ago. Murieron 11 personas. Eleven people died. Porque tomaron alcohol. Because they uh, were drinking alcohol. Aquí se llama alcohol de madera. Here is called uh, wood alcohol. No, dice la gente. It was you know something horrible. Nos organizamos algunos grupos obsesión, algunos raperos de la gente. So we organized ourselves some, you know, some of the hip hop groups obsesión. Hacer un concierto, algo. To do a concert there. Después no lo hicimos. And then we didn't do it. Pero tampoco es un momento para estar bailando, cantando. A moment to be dancing and singing. Y allí tenemos una líder que es muy prestigiosa. And there we have a leader who's very prestigious, Maritza. Que había que acompañar. Sufrió mucho. Suffered a lot. 11 muertos. 11 dead. Menos. Blacks. Gente muy pobre. Very poor people. Gente joven. Uh, very young people. Y es un conflicto que tenemos en los barrios. And it's a conflict that we have. Y esas son las personas que están en los barrios. And these are the people that are in the neighborhoods. Una sola de esas personas. Um, just one of those people. Trabaja más que 20 academias. Um, works in more. Trabaja más que 20 academias. Which works more than 20 academics together. Son mujeres de mucho prestigio. Um, you know, people of, their, of high, high esteem in their neighborhood. Very revolutionary. Marita is a you know, woman that's been there resolving the problems. Y esa, eh, hace un año, so about a year ago, um, they uh, were able, all these leaders were able to um, get together. Formadas, and these leaders were uh, formed en un de popular, um, in, a, in, a, in a popular education workshop que tiene el King Jr. Um, that, that the Martin Luther King's uh, Junior Center uh, of Havana para to empower the neighborhoods y de todas estas, de esas 20 personas, and all of these 20 people, 15 son mujeres. That are uh, blacks. Y son mujeres. Are blacks, blacks. And they're women that are there. Yo no viví los años 60. I, I lived it in uh, the 1970s. Soy muy jovencito. I'm very young. Pero yo creo que en la obra de Sara Gómez. But I think in Sara Gómez's work. No solo solamente en el, en el álbum, sino en los documentales. I'm not uh, just in the album, but in the, in the documentary. Hay respuestas en ese mundo. 
there are answers to this. Uh, There's a lot of things to still research and, and maybe Pedro knows better. Esa, esa problemática en esa época, this Pedro tenía this period, muchas muchachas novias negras en Havana. Um, so there were a lot of girls, black uh, girlfriends in, in Havana. <laughs> <and you> had, <laughs> <laughs> Let's learn not to be very exploitative with, uh, with survival. Let's learn to summarize a few more questions. Because, uh, yes, 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 of course. Let's going to have one, two, three, four questions all together. One, two, three, four. You will listen, he will listen to the questions and he will address and we end up now because we've been working for the last two hours. And we have to be human kind of. Okay, no, do you want to ask anything? No, Kylie is in a problem. Oh, yes, yes, Kylie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, 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 no. yeah. Kylie, all of us. But let's go to make the question and we will uh, put it all together and summarize and all that things. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Bueno, mi pregunta es que muchas gracias por hablar de la revista Movimiento. Yo encontré la edición sobre las mujeres hace unos años aquí en Cuba y escribí sobre la edición en mi tesis doctoral y eh, entonces me sorprendió mucho que hablar de eso. So I, the Movimiento Magazine that he worked on, I found an issue of it a couple years ago and I wrote about it um, in my dissertation because it was uh, dedicated to black women in Cuba. Y mi pregunta siempre era y nunca tuve la respuesta de que um, ¿qué fue el impacto de esa edición en la comunidad cubana? Cuando las mujeres leyeron eh, esa revista, ah, porque habla del feminismo negro, eh, eh, plantea muchas ideas muy, extremadamente importantes, entonces siempre quería ver. Okay, so I want to know what the impact was in the community that the edition about women um, had. Thank you. Thanks so much, Sobrano. Nice to see you again. My question, uh, how the university is now open a center of Afro-Latino studies, and Alejandro Puentes is the head of it. And he had, in fact, uh, 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 several, maybe two or three uh, discussions where rap, Afro Cuban rappers were discussed. And it, it was presented as if, um, well, he was very important in, in fact, conveying what was happening in the rap community to the outside world. And I want to ask if, in fact, that's the only way that we have for academics to know about the role of rappers and identity, the question of black identity in Cuba, because it's now very important in some American universities. For instance, I teach a class, you know, um, Afro, Afro diaspora and identity and have looked for this type of information to you know, use. And I wanted to know if there's any other way that academics could know about that, because we don't have a lot of direct content. Eh, que ella quiere saber si hay otra, eh, si hay maneras de, de um, para los académicos poder accesar um, eh, lo que están produciendo los artistas de hip hop cubano. What you describe rap does for Cuba today, Bob Marley and Reggae did for other parts of the world in the 1970s. Did Reggae have any impact in Cuba? Quiero saber si el Reggae tuvo algún impacto en Cuba porque lo que tú dijiste que el rap está haciendo para la gente joven actualmente en Cuba, solo que el Reggae hizo para la juventud de los años 70. Uh -huh. When hip hop started in the United States, um, it was largely a black music and it was very political. When it became mainstream in the late 80s and early 90s, it became very apolitical, in fact even anti-political that we can think of Jay-Z um, selling his clothing in, in racially discriminatory stores or Kanye West producing uh, Confederate flag t-shirts and so on. I'm wondering as if, if it were to happen that hip hop were to become a really mainstream thing in Cuba, and we have this advancing market economy in Cuba, is that going to happen here too? 
Entonces, sí, lo mismo eh, va a pasar el grupo cubano que en Estados Unidos cuando comenzó el movimiento era un movimiento muy político, pero luego en los 90 se convirtió en un, en un movimiento bastante comercial y quiere saber si lo mismo va a pasar aquí en Cuba. Los músicos más ricos. Thank you so much. I'm really curious as to how the historian of Havana responded to this, um, this suggestion that a plaque be mounted with this statue that's been restored. And it seems to me with all this restoration going on in the city that it's such a, a, an important and ready-made opportunity for interpretation of history of particularly black history, the history of slavery and so forth to be um, central to the restoration efforts, the plaques on the buildings, the information to hand to all the tours passing through through this beautiful, beautiful city. So I wonder if that conversation is happening, if that's on the agenda of the city uh, historian. Sí, como reaccionó el historiador de la ciudad eh, a la propuesta de uh, escribir eh, algo sobre el monumento que había sido tumbado y que quieren reconstruir. Y luego, dado eh, los nuevos esfuerzos de restauración de la ciudad, no, eh, ella quiere saber o dice que no sería un buen momento para integrar la historia cubana en eh, esta exposición eh, a lo largo de la ciudad y mm. este, educar a la gente, los turistas. Pues aprovechar el, el hecho en sí para contestar la pregunta. Okay. Bien sencilla, ¿Cómo, ¿cómo se accede a esta música? ¿Cómo accede toda la comunidad? ¿Cómo accedemos nosotros? ¿Cómo accedo yo? Por eso son, por eso tienen tanto dinero. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, bueno, bueno. So, movimiento. Um, ha sido una revista the, importante. Um, Movimiento Magazine has been a really important magazine. Y este... Yeah, quiero que ella grabe porque es importante para mí investigar. <laughs> sí, no miren la cámara, no miren la cámara, se trabaja y no miren la cámara. No, pero es que la, la respuesta no, como no la puedo apuntar. Claro que sí, ya. Y se pone... Ay, no, yeah. sí. ah, sí. So this number that's dedicated to women is number seven. Para este número no fue muy importante la presencia de, de Carmen González. Um, so in this number, the, the, the uh, presence of Carmen González was really uh, important. En ese momento era Who in this, uh, at that time was my wife, my companion. Y tenía un proyecto de las raperas. And she had projects among the rappers, the women rappers. Una poeta. Uh, she was a poet. En un grupo de spoken word. And she had a spoken word um, group. Y eh, hizo un trabajo importante. And she had um, a very uh, important job that she did. Y ese número nació como en la casa. And this uh, edition was born just at home. Venían sus amigas. Her, her friends would come. Le ponían amigas en el café. They would put, you know, make friends make coffee. Entonces yo escuchaba. And then I would listen. And once in a while I would ask. Pues hicimos un número sobre eh, para tener un concepto de qué cosas el feminismo negro. So we we did an edition about the concept of what is a black feminism. Cuáles son las muchachas más importantes. Um, who are the most important girls doing this? Pusimos un texto corto teórico de Bell Hooks. Um, we put a little um, a, a little short um, excerpt by Bell Hooks. Otro otro texto de Sueli Carneiro. Um, another text by Sueli Carneiro. Feminista brasileña. Um, a, a Brazilian feminist. Para darle una densidad to, a ese presente. To give um, an intensity to to this. Uh, las letras de las muchachas. The lyrics. Uh, fotos de los espectáculos. Um, photos from shows. Carátulas de los discos. Um, the the uh, covers of the discs. Yo creo que el número nos quedó bien. And I think that the uh, edition came out really well. Porque expresa una atmósfera que había. Uh, because it expresses an atmosphere that existed in Cuba. Donde esas muchachas grafiteras, doctoras, Those DJs, women that were um, graffiti artists, produ producers, DJs. Habían llevado, llegado al hip hop como novias. Had, they had gotten to, into the realm of hip hop as the girlfriends of the rappers. Y lograron 
colocarse ella sola en ese. And then they were able to achieve placing themselves um, alone, singularly, individually, into that scene. Eso, muchas eran DJ. Um, and a lot of them made were made into big DJs. Que es más complejo porque la DJ necesita una mesa. Um, which is even more complex because they need a, a turntables. Y las mujeres no tienen la tecnología, sino los hombres. And the women did not have the technology, the men had the technology. Pero llegaron a apropiarse de un espacio muy bueno. Um, so they, they, they came to appropriate a very, very uh, good space. Hacían un taller de género. They did a workshop on gender. Donde es el taller de género donde más hombres veían. Um, with the workshop on gender where we saw the most amount of men. Y las la mujeres le hacían una crítica muy fuerte a todas las canciones de sus compañeros. And the women made a really strong critique of all of the songs that their um, that their male friends were creating. Fue el momento más creado. So it was the most um, creative, uh, prolific moment. Lo que ocurrió después. What happened afterwards? Fue que llegó el mercado. Was that the market arrived? Y muchos de estos raperos. And many of those rappers de mucha um, that were very uh, socially conscious no a la ni a la radio. didn't have access to the television or to the radio. Eran muy en su uh, they were very criticized uh, even within the realm of their own families. Y se al camino del mercado más fácil para un rapero. And so then they, they go um, into the, um, the, the way of the market that's the easiest for rappers. Es el camino del reggaeton. Which is the, um, the, the route of reggaeton music. Y los medios en Cuba utilizaron el reggaeton para callar al ritmo. And so um, the, the media in Cuba utilized reggaeton to shut rap up. Le dieron dinero al reggaeton. They invested money in reggaeton. Le dieron espacio. They gave space, uh, physical space to reggaeton. Luego los reggaetoneros aprendieron, hicieron su circuito comercial. And so um, the, the reggaetoneros, performers, learned how to do sort of a commercial circuit. Podían hacer sus videos promocionales, videoclips. They could do their music videos. Esos videos super machistas. These very, very machista videos. Con, con las mujeres semidesnudas. With um, semi-naked uh, women. Sí, Ellos como negros de éxito llenos de cadenas um, de oro. Them as successful black men, draped in uh, gold chains. Para los videos, alquilaban la única limusina que hay en La Habana. Um, so for the uh, so they, for the videos they would rent the only limousine that existed in Havana. <laughs> so they, they sold this model of the successful musician. And they filled the clubs. They created their own um, su propio legends. There were you know um, struggles and uh, discord. Dis en el fin de año del 2005, at the end of the year, at 2005, una mesa en un famoso cabaret llamado Salón Propio, um, a table in a famous cabaret called um, Salón Propio, para ver a dos raperos, to see two rappers, enemigos, um, who were enemies, la mesa costaba 120 dólares, the table cost 120 dólares, que es el, el salario en Cuba de una persona de cuatro meses de la persona, that's the, the salary sí, of somebody sí. in Cuba in, you know, four months, y la mesa costaba 120. And the table cost 120. Todas fueron compradas. Everybody, every table was purchased. Usted caminaba por la ciudad. You walked around the city. Y veía unos números. And you saw numbers. Llamar a un cell phone. To call a cell phone. ¿Dónde va a ser la fiesta del chacal? Where's the chacal? Where's chacal's party going to be? Ah, y iban para allá. Oh, it's here and people went. Here. La entrada costaba 10 dólares, 20 dólares. Y los productores de los hoteles and the, the producers of the hotels, les parecía muy barato. It seemed really cheap to them. Porque por el precio de la mitad de una orquesta. Because um, it was the price of half the price of an orchestra. Le pagaban a tres muchachos. They could pay three boys. Dos cantantes y un DJ. Two uh, singers and one DJ. Haciendo reggaeton. Doing reggaeton. Una gran polémica porque la orquesta es salsa. It was a great, great problem because then the salsa orchestra were insulted by this. Porque estos muchachos van a tener que tener más éxito. Because que these, you know, boys had uh, were more successful than they. Y los directores de salsa más. And eh, the más directors of, of salsa were more intelligent. Los llamaron para cantar con ellos. Would call them to come and sing with them. 
Entonces, so, es, ese camino de mercado um, this route of the market, apagó la crítica social. Um, basically shut down or snuffed out the social uh, critique. Y solo un grupo muy pequeño, and only one very small group is como, left. Como obsesión, like obsession y otros and others que mantienen that maintain. Luego, también en los últimos cinco años and in the last five years, hay una fuerte diáspora de raperos cubanos there's a very strong diaspora of Cuban rappers que están yendo sobre todo hacia Miami that are going um, above all else towards Miami Miami es un lugar donde el rap parecía que no iba a tener éxito um, Miami is a place where it seemed like rap was not going to be successful y sin embargo and however hay una escena de hip hop en Miami, en español, que comienza a crecer. That's beginning to grow. El 95% son cubanos que han llegado en los últimos cinco años. Who have arrived within the last five years. Muchos grupos importantes de aquí. Many very important groups from here. O algunos cubanos. O some of those members. Están hoy en Miami. Are today in Miami. No tienen no tienen éxito comercial. They they don't have commercial success. People, eh? Iqbal. No, no, people, no, es parte de ese grupo aquí. People. El, el, no, el, no, el, no, 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 y en, en Cuba el mercado so in Cuba, in the market, va jugando con, con estos elementos críticos with these critical elements. y ya quedan muy pocos elementos críticos and, and very few critical elements are solo un pequeño grupo Only a small group. incluso hoy la agencia so today the agency no es una agencia tan importante como hace cinco años isn't atrás. such an important agency the Cuban National Rap Agency isn't so important as it was five mm -hmm. years ago la agencia también tiene eh, mucho a donde está muy comercializada. Um, the agency uh, is very commercialized as well. Entonces, el, la zona del, del reggae fue muy importante. So the, the, the zone of, of reggae was very important. En los 80 en La Habana había una, una, escena, una escena de reggae. The 1980s in Havana there was a reggae scene. Nunca fue apoyado por la, por la it, empresa de música. It was never supported by um, the uh, musical industry. Aparecía un grupo hoy y a los tres meses se desintegraba. You know, a group would appear today and then um, eight months later it would be completely disintegrated. No tenía un futuro profesional. Uh, they didn't have a professional future. No tenía espacio para reunirse. They didn't have a space to gather. Y eh, lo que se mantiene hoy el grupo reggae en La Habana. Y tres grupos. Maintain today um, uh, with respect to the, the, the reggae groups in Havana there is three groups. El más importante a mi juicio. The most important one by my judgment. Manana reggae. Es Manana reggae. Manana reggae se puede ver en un club aquí en. Um, en Manana Manana Marino, Marino. Marino. Can be seen in a club today. Um, de, in a, 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 the the Yellow Submarine. Exacto, de 17 y 4. Y hay muy poco espacio para esas dos. Very few spaces for these groups. También hay que decir que um, en La Habana el reggae no tuvo una influencia muy fuerte. Um, reggae didn't have such a strong influence. Y la influencia que tuvo una influencia de los grupos clandestinos. The influence de, de um, that was had were are the clandestine Rastafarian groups. Los Rastafaris se han visibilizado, digamos, a finales de los 80. So um, the Rastafaris have become invisibilized at the end of the 1980s. También como Also as transnational figures. Uh, with a connection from many other Rastafarians that come from different parts of the world. Gracias a internet. Uh, thanks to the internet. De Japón, de They come from Japan, Jamaica. Y han querido hacer incluso festivales de reggae. Um, and they've actually um, begun um, to do and, and been able to do reggae festivals in Cuba. The only one that has been successful. The one that has been successful. Santiago de Cuba y Guantanamo. In Santiago de Cuba and in Guantanamo. Porque en el oriente del país se escucha bastante esa música. Because on the eastern side of the island, this type of music is, is listened to a lot. Y porque los rastafaris. Uh, because Rastafarians in Havana, in Havana are, conf are, are confused 
with um, the hustlers or prostitutes, the yeah, other culture of um, hustling. Yeah. And sometimes the police, um, you know, picks them up and puts them in jail and cuts oh. their hair off. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's, the police does this once in a while. So the problem is that the thesis of the, the restoration of the city it's a restoration with a colonial mentality. So if you guys go to the um, the plaza of the cathedral, there's the, the black women dressed as the slaves of the entire period trying to kiss the tourists um, of the santeras, throwing um, cards, um, palm reading, selling black dolls. Uno, dos. One, number one, number two. Hay un gran mural. Um, there's a great um, mural the 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 street street with the Cuba. most important figures of the 19th century Solo Cuba. Dos Only two blacks. <laughs> At the very uh, far right and then down. Brindis de Salas and Plasto. Only two. Antonio Maceo. Antonio Maceo is not uh, represented. No está Juan Alberto Gómez. Gómez is not represented. No están ninguno los grandes negros. So none of the great blacks sí, sí, sí. of the 19th century are represented. Lo que se le pidió a Eusebio era hacer un espejo al frente. So um, what I asked Eusebio was to make a mirror to the to the front, an outward facing mirror, mirror with black with the most important black figures. Because when the independence war um, ended in the 98, there were 48 black generals. 36 of them were from Santiago de Cuba. And they don't show up in any space. In, in the Cuban um, bills, money, the only one who appears is Antonio Maceo. So number three, um, when I'm found out about the Independent Party of Color, we wanted to put a flag where it had been um, founded. And we put it there. Um, and then it was put inside of a plaza. You, you had to enter in order to see where it was. In the plaza that said, here the Independent Party of Color was born. And it was, the plaque was hidden. We had to fight three years to be able to take it out and put it in the outside part. There's a colonial restoration. At the beginning, they took out many of the black poor people in Old Havana and they took them out of their homes and they put them in the outskirts of the city. Ahora, lo que sigo, están más empoderados. Um, now um, they're more empowered. <coughs> The neighborhoods more in power. And the neighbors have asked to participate in the restoration project. And this is what's happening right now. But tourism has a very strong colonial rhetoric. rhetoric. And the, the, the work that um, people involved in tourism um, have to do no so, no so los más, los um, are not the best. La academia cubana, uh, Cuban academia le, le ha miedo el tema. Um, has you know, become afraid of this topic. Han hecho varios estudios. They've made, um, done various studies, um, you know, panels, encounters. Pero yo repito, but I repeat that this uh, theme is uh, hidden, kidnapped. For instance, there's a great 
for example, there's a huge discussion about whether you should say Afro-Cuban or not. Um, in Cuba, you use this, this uh, term because by way of the United States. It's, it's an um, anthropological term and then it's a term that has been politicized through human rights. But then in, in um, 1906, uh, 1906, 1906, Fernando Ortiz says Afro Cuban. Um, Afro -Brasil Brazilian was said in the 1920s. No se quiere identificar el término afro. So that's to say that um, the term afro um, hasn't been, they ha they ha people haven't wanted to identify it. Dicen que es dividido. They say that that divides people. Y el, ese término afro. And so that um, uh, prefix afro. Es una identidad política. Is a political identity. Es una identidad racial. It's a racial identity. Y eh, yo creo que establece. And I believe that it establishes a pride, sense of an appropriation, um, an association that people want to make because of their African roots. To see black professors um, it, on the television say that you know it's ridiculous to say to call oneself Afro-Cuban. El acceso a la producción de hip hop. Um, the access to the production of hip hop. Uno lo logra acercándose a los cuerpos artistas. Um, one um, achieves this getting close to the um, uh, acercándose to the to the artists themselves. Ellos tienen los estudios en sus casas. They have um, their studios in their houses. Quien quiera hacer la historia del hip hop. Whoever wants to make um, you know do the history of Cuban hip hop. Tiene que contar con los productores independientes. Has to um, count on the independent producers. Son estudios en la periferia. There are studios that are exist on the periphery. Eh, últimamente están siendo llamados por las casas pequeñas. Lately, they're being called in by the um, houses of uh, music and CD. Pero ellos, los, ellos tienen sus discos. But they have their own discs. Porque es una forma de financiar sus discos. Because it's a form of um, financing their. Ellos mismos product. venden sus discos. They sell their discs themselves. Los producen, los venden. They produce them. They sell them. Eh, han creado un mercado propio. They've created their own market. Vienen gente estudiantes, etc. People come, estudio. students come, and then they, you know, give their. Out. And all of uh, you know, all, almost all of them have their own discs with them. ¿Cómo a ellos? How to get to them? Hay que estar cerca de las you have to be um, close to the cerca de las. De la... uh, you have to be close to the dynamic. Yo saber dónde hay un concierto, llamo a el grupo when I want to know, you know, where is the next concert going to be, I call um, Obsesión. A veces llamo a la Sometimes I call the rap agency. Son un espectáculo muy bonito. But when there are, you know, shows that are... Pero se encuentra en el, en el Club Karachi, aquí en Vedado. But you can find her in the Club Karachi in, in, in Vedado. Eh, en el Río Mendares. In the Mendares River. Son espacios que hay que conectarse con ellos. There's, there's spaces that you just have to know about. Okay. Bueno. Eh, <laughs> nada, es un. Yo creo que estamos un, en un nuevo contexto. So I think that we're in a new, um, un nuevo contexto. And a, in a new context of the racial debate. Que esta organización es negra. Organization, um, black organization can help a lot. But we have one problem. There are many uh, struggles and many contradictions. Which is um, what happens to the black movement in almost all of Latin America. There's many um, uh, protagonism. Um, ego involved. Y eso está desangrando la lucha. And this is um, is the is 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 like letting the struggle bleed out. Y en estos momentos necesitamos una agenda común. So in this moment we 
need a common agenda, a consensus. Para poder hacer una presión to be able to social you know, put política. social pressure, political pressure y negociar nuestro and negotiate our spaces, nuestro derecho, our rights en in the society. Todos estos intercambios sirven para pensar mejor. All of these um, exchanges um, are useful in helping us think uh, better. Pero tenemos que avanzar mucho. But we have to advance a lot. En reconocer nuestras diferencias. In recognizing our differences. Que son muchas. That are many. Pero mucho más, más es el, el racismo que viene emergiendo. Um, but much larger is the racism that comes emerging. En una sociedad con muchos elementos capitalistas. In a society with many capitalist elements. El mundo es un desarrollo, no somos un país desarrollado world in um, in development because we are um, not a, a developed country. So we are not a developed country. Um, and it, this is the fight that we're in. Well, I clap again. This is why our program was called Afro-Cuban Voices, right? We were discussing about that. Mm -hmm. It was um, based on the title of my third book, Afro-Cuban Voices on Race and Identity in Contemporary Cuba. And in the first book, Afro-Cuba, an anthology of Cuban writing on race, politics, and culture. It was published by um, University Press, no, yeah, the University Press of Florida. No, the second one was by University Press of Florida. The other one was Paul's aware. I try, it's very interesting because when I was when you come, when you come mostrando when I was um, showing esta revista, this magazine, alguna de la gente que están ahí, some of the people that are there, cuando Afro Cuba se publica en el 93, when Afro Cuba was published in 93, yo traté de coger todos aquellos y aquellas que estaban trabajando en el tema those, all those men and women that were working on the theme ponerlos juntos put them all together pero no pude publicarlo en Cuba uh, but I couldn't publish it in Cuba I had to publish it uh, el otro, Afro Cuban Voices fue entrevista con algunos de los participantes en el en, la, en, en el diálogo Afro Cuban Voices put some of the participants Universidad de Florida lo publiqué UPS, University of Florida Engagement, lo publicaron. Ahora vamos a actualizar Afro Cuba, que se publicó en Puerto Rico. La versión española se publicó en Puerto Rico en el 98. Entonces, Consulator, que viene esta tarde, la directora del instituto. Se va a actualizar y vamos a ponerlo juntos. Y luego la otra que está publicada por Amy Goodman va a ser. Pero bueno, Afro Cuban Voicing. ¡Epic Cuban Voicing!